In this video, I want to talk about how to add a custom report to Sage X3. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to add a custom invoice report. So um, we're a reporting company, and so we work with various ERPs, and Sage X3 is one of the ERPs we, we work with. And so our clients will come and ask us to create custom reports for them within Sage. And so the way you do this is you um, you identify what the report um, is, uh, it, and so it's a crystal report, and then so you, in the area that it's located, so you'll you'll get the existing uh, RPT file um, that's located in the shared directory with your Sage install, and um, you want to modify that report in Crystal to to be uh, to 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 um, take on the format that you want, whether that's adding columns or adding calculations, logos, um, whatever whatever changes you need. And at that point, you're going to want to add it to the menu um, so that users can actually go and run the report within Sage. Um, so in order to do that, first you want to go to Development, Script Dictionary, and Reports. Um, and you can see, look, I, um, I'm getting this message access denied. And so that's where you want to make sure that your licensing um, information is correct and that you have a, a developer's uh, badge in order to be able to make changes to um, the screens. So I need to change, um, make sure that I have the right role. So if I, um, let's close this and I'll go back in and show you that I won't get that error anymore. Development, script dictionary reports, and so I no longer get that error message. So I can add um, the report code uh, within the script dictionary. And so um, the report that we actually did was, um, is, so your, uh, your normal invoice report, customer invoice report, is going to just going to be S B O N F A C. That's the report code. And so, what you want to do is for the the custom one, just add a, a Z in front of it, and you can and see. I just I just added a um, a Z in front of it and renamed it custom customer invoice. And then you also um, want to change the report name. Um, remember the the RPT file that I was referring to earlier in the video. Um, you want to put it. That's you're going to name that Z. Put a Z um, in front of uh, the name to so that you don't write over the existing RPT file when you put it in that shared directory. And so you want to make sure that that matches um, the file that you put in. And then so you'll just create that. You know, click new, and save it. Um, and then you're going to want to go to uh, now that you've you have a pointer in the system that's pointed at that new RPT file. You're going to want to um, actually add it uh, to the the menu. So um, so you go to setup uh, destinations and print code. And so here um, um, I'm just going to go to the area that I added. So. So you can see here's the the, the SBON FAC. That's the the invoice um, internal code, and then you just want to um, click right here, and you're going to insert a new line, and then you'll add uh, the new one. You can see right here with the Z um, in front of it, so that it references that new uh, that new crystal report, and then. After you do that, you, you'll, you'll you'll save that, and then um, and then finally you want to default the parameters. So whenever the user runs the report, like if it's for a specific invoice, you like the date range or the invoice, or you pass in the actual invoice uh, number, you, you want those to um, be defaulted to be like you know what's passed in from the screen. So you go to setup. Uh, destinations default values. In here, you can 
um, you can see here's some of the um, custom ones we've done. So again, here it is, the ZBON FAC, uh, the customer invoice, and you can see that um, the uh, you'll just you'll you'll create a new one, and then you'll need to copy all these uh, default parameter um, um, all the default parameter syntax in here so that um, you'll have that your 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 custom invoice will default with the correct parameters so if you ever need any help with uh, custom sage reports uh, just give us a call or email email us at info at reportingguru.com thank you